Today at the Snapdragon Summit, Qualcomm revealed a load more juicy details on the new Snapdragon 765 and 765G platforms, which we'll see stuffed inside of loads of mid-range Androids in 2020. These chipsets are a really big deal because they'll bring both 5G and next-level artificial intelligence to the mid-range smartphone market, something that most of Qualcomm's rivals can't even do on their most premium offerings, which the manufacturer was of course very keen to point out on stage. Now starting with the most basic specs, the Snapdragon 765 packs in Qualcomm's new Cryo 475 CPU running at up to 2.3 gigahertz. You also get the Adreno 620 GPU, serving up a 20% performance increase over the older Snapdragon 730. More importantly, the Snapdragon 765 uses a similar but slightly scaled back version of Qualcomm's mightily impressive 5th gen AI engine, which was just unveiled in its flagship Snapdragon 865 platform. The 865 can perform 15 trillion operations per second, and the 765 is capable of 5.5 trillion using a similar hexagon tensor accelerator. Still more than enough grunt to support powerful camera and gaming features on your next reasonably priced handset. Now taking a look at the camera chops and the Snapdragon 765 uses Qualcomm's existing computer vision ISP so you can expect really nippy performance even when you're using a range of really complex camera features. Smartphones using this mid-range chipset will be able to shoot photos at a mighty 192 megapixels, putting most current premium mobiles to shame. That's really good news if you want to capture a highly detailed shot that can be cropped and blown up without sacrificing picture quality. And you'll also be able to capture up to 22 megapixel photos on a dual camera setup with absolutely zero shutter lag. 4K HDR video recording is also supported, so you'll hopefully be able to shoot great looking home movies without breaking the bank. Plus HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision video playback are now also possible with the new Snapdragon 765. As for connectivity, the Snapdragon 765 comes with an integrated Snapdragon X52 5G modem, supporting theoretical speeds up to 3.7 gigabytes per second. So in 2020, you can expect to see a fair few 5G ready smartphones hitting the market for under that 500 pound price point. Definitely fantastic news as that tech rolls out globally. But despite all of that awesomeness, the chipset champion was not done. Qualcomm also launched an alternative gaming version of the Snapdragon 765 chipset known as the Snapdragon 765G. This provides an unsurprising boost to both the CPU and the GPU grunt. From the Snapdragon 765 to the 765G, you get a 20% performance increase in that GPU. And this once again provides support for 10-bit HDR gaming, just like the existing 730G, while also adding full support for a 120Hz gaming experience at Full HD resolution. So your games should play smoothly and look more slick than an Elvis impersonator's hairdo. And that right there in a nutshell is the new Snapdragon 765 and 765G platforms from Qualcomm and why we should be getting really excited about our mid-range mobiles coming in 2020. The likes of Nokia, uh, Xiaomi, Oppo, all kinds of manufacturers are dedicated to these platforms. They should come back in some awesome camera tech and some slick gaming features as well. So go check out my full coverage of the Snapdragon 865 platforms to see what you can expect from the really nice shiny premium flagship phones in 2020. I'm going to be out in Maui covering the rest of the Snapdragon news as well, so stay tuned for more of that. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you.